There is a new event in Hello Kitty Island Adventure starting this week. This new event is the Sunshine Celebration. It takes the place of the Summer's End Celebration from last year, and with it comes a whole new set of citrus-themed furniture and clothing. But if you missed Summer's End last year, you also have a chance to get that collection as well. The event kicks off with My Melody letting us know that she ordered a few too many lemons, and the event stand this time is the lemonade stand. So the event currency we will be collecting are these lemons that you'll find all around Seaside Resort. They're pretty big, so they should be pretty easy to find. Here are some of the places that I found them. And be sure to bring Top Hat with you just in case he gives you an extra. The percentage is pretty low, I think it's 10%, but that could still be pretty useful. Just like with past events, your island bouquet will not respawn the lemon, so you won't be able to get more by using the island bouquet. Take a look at that event stand, the lemonade stand, where you can exchange your lemons for furniture. Be sure to bring Tuxedo Sam with you because you do have a chance of getting duplicates at the event stand. So the furniture collection for the Sunshine Celebration includes the Sunshine Coffee Table for 10, the dining chair for 7, the fruit tree for 10, the side table for 10, the lemonade tray for 5, the lamp for 10, the sunshine armchair for 12, the bed for 25, and don't forget you're going to want two of these so that you can turn one of them into the double bed at the dessert boat, the dining table for 20, the flooring for 15, the event stand for 20, the dresser for 15, the mirror also 15, the sofa for 20, a new surfboard for 12 and the wall for 15. Now if you wanted to get one of everything including two of the beds so you can get that double bed, it will take 246 lemons. If you're collecting all 11 lemons you get each day between collecting your seven around the resort and the four that you get from daily tasks, that'll take you 23 days. If you only collect the ones around the resort and you're not doing your daily tasks for the bonus four, then it'll take you 36 days. The event runs for six weeks so you still have a little bit of time either way since that's about 42 days. So make sure you play more than every other day during the event and you're doing all of your daily tasks and collecting all seven lemons around Seaside Resort to make sure you're getting one of everything. Now the other reason to be logging in every day is because we of course have a new event calendar and this is how we're going to get all the clothing for the event. On the part one event calendar, on the very first day when you log in you'll get the lemon body which makes your character look like they're stuck in side of lemon. One week later you'll get four more of these in the lime color way because all of the clothing in this event can be dyed at the dye station at Tuxedo Sam's shop. Two weeks in we'll get the backpack and then we'll have to wait and see for the future event calendars, probably a part two and a finale to see where we're gonna get the hat, the dress, and the sunglasses. I haven't been able to customize any of the furniture from this set yet but we can dye the clothing. So here's what those variations look like. They're all all fruit themed. We start out with a lemon option and then there's also blood orange, grapefruit, lime, and tangerine. So I assume the other items in this set are going to be able to be dyed into the same color set. Now in addition to the new sunshine celebration set, we now also have access to last year's summer's end collection. My Melody did let us know this and the summer's end furniture collection is going to rotate in her shop during the duration of the sunshine celebration. In order to purchase this furniture, is going to be kind of expensive. It will cost you one lemon and additional materials. Luckily, this is a pretty small collection. Also, you may want to trade for items in this collection. It may end up being cheaper for you, as folks who played last year may have some duplicates. So far, I've only seen one item in her shop each day and it'll rotate, but there are only seven items in this collection. This includes the Summer's End Beach Ball, that'll cost you five rubber and one lemon. Summer's End Beach Chair for three fabric, five sticks and one lemon. The Hammock for 10 fabric, five wood block and one lemon. The Lifeguard Chair for 
five blue dye pouches, 15 wood block, and one lemon. I think that was one of our more expensive items, like maybe even 30 sunscreen last year. The Summer's End Neon Palm Tree for 20 sparks, one stick and one lemon. The Summer's End Sandbox for five wood block and one lemon. And the Summer's End Surfboard for two rubber, five wood block, and one lemon. If you want to make sure that you're getting one of each of these items if you missed the event last year, you're only going to need seven more lemons on top of your total. So that's 253, which doesn't add any additional days onto that 23 days of collecting that you need to do as long as you're doing all seven lemons that you pick up and all four daily tasks each day. The real expense here is going to be all the other materials like those wood blocks that you'll need to spend if you do want to collect this furniture this way. And that furniture is also not customizable. If you've been in Tuxedo Sam shop since the latest update, you may have noticed a mannequin that hasn't been sporting any of his clothing. But during the event, this mannequin is wearing one piece of last year's Summer's End Celebration collection. That collection has four items, but they can all be dyed in a number of colors. The good news is none of these are going to cost you lemons. However, you may want to stock up on fabric, especially because some of these items come in so many different colors. The ruffled top can be bought from Tuxedo Sam for five fabric and five sugar kelp when it's on rotation, and it can be dyed into 12 different colors. So that fabric cost can add up pretty quickly. The visor also costs five fabric and one rubber, and it can be dyed into nine different colors. The wrapped towel, which is this stripey skirt that you've seen me wear sometimes. Also five fabric and five sand dollar, and it can also be dyed into nine different colors. And then the lifeguard hoodie just costs five fabric, and it can also be dyed into nine different colors. So if you wanted every color of the summer's end clothing and you didn't have any to start with, this is going to cost you a ton of fabric and a ton of dye. Now, some of our visitors have required the summer's end furniture or clothing. The good news is this summer's end collection and the new Sunshine Celebration collection both use that same tag. That means you don't need the Summer's End collection in order to fulfill visitor requirements. You can use the new Sunshine Celebration collection and it will also fulfill the requirements. I would say make sure with this event and all future events to ensure that you have some of the clothing and some of the furniture for every event so that you don't find yourself stuck and waiting for next year or trying to trade Kurobi or another player for it just in case you need it for visitor requirements. We have now seen multiple visitors that require multiple pieces of the same event furniture. So five Sunshine Celebration tagged pieces of furniture. And then we've also seen visitors who require one piece of furniture from a whole bunch of different events. And then even some visitors who require event tagged clothing. And the only way you can get that is if you are logging in during an event and either buying last year's clothing at Tuxedo Sam's when it's on rotation or getting it as those login bonus items. So if you want to make sure you're prepared for whatever future visitors we get, be sure to be logging in during those event times and collecting both some of the furniture and the clothing. So for the summer's end furniture and the sunshine celebration furniture, both of these will count for TAM's visitor requirements. So if you've been waiting on that last requirement, now is the time to get it. Hopefully this helps you with the new sunshine celebration at Hello Kitty Island Adventure and helps you get all that citrus themed furniture and clothing. If it did, consider giving the video a like to others find it as well. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island Adventure content. We did stream this event on day one on the channel and all of the quests in 1.8. So if you're looking for that content, want to see those quests in real time and how we figured them out, you can find those live streams on the channel even before I get the quest guides, critter guides, and event guides on the channel. And be sure to check out the shop for game related designs. Turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.